Hi everybody, my name is Baptiste Tellier. I am Senior Cloud System Engineer here at Vim. And today we'll be talking about SOBR in this VCSP how-to video. We'll be talking about the capacity tier, the performance tier, the archive tier of the scale-out backup repository. But first, what is scale-out backup repository? It's an efficient job management in Vim backup and replication. It allows you to send your backup and your backup copy job to a single SOBR and Vim will choose and track restore point on multiple storage devices. It also allows you to integrate with native object storage such as Amazon S3, Azure Blob Storage, Vim Vault, any S3 compatible or on-premise storage offering. How does it look? In the performance tier, you can add any type of storage. You have direct data storage, you have NAS storage, Dedupl appliance, Linux Arden repository, even object storage in the performance tier. It, call, it can be immutable and it allows you to leverage the policy-based uh, move, copy or move to the capacity tier. In the capacity tier, you can have any object storage you want. It could be Amazon S3, S3 compatible, Azure Object Storage, IBM, Google Cloud, and you even have an archive tier. Archive tier is reserved to Amazon S3 Glacier or Azure Blob Storage. What's new with the latest version is now you can have a direct access from performance to archive tier. So capacity tier become optional and you can move data directly from Amazon S3 or Azure Blob to the archive tier of Amazon or archive. If you're on Amazon, you stay on Amazon and the same goes for Azure. If you are Azure, you can only move Azure archive tier. I hope it's clear. So let's move into the demo. Here I have my SOBR infrastructure in Vim backup and replication. And you can see we have various SOBR, so various scenarios. Let's try the first one with AWS S3. If I go into properties, it will be the same wizard as if you go into a new SOBR. So you choose a name. Then in the performance here, you can add any type of storage you want. It can be directly object storage. It can also be performance tier as local storage. In my case, it's a Windows repository. Then in the placement policy, you choose how the SOBR behaved. By default, it's data locality. So it stays the incremental and the full backup stays together. Then you have the capacity tier, where here we choose an object storage and we choose how the policy moves data between performance and capacity tier. So we select all, so it's copy and move. And we also select to encrypt the data. You can move then the data to archive. For example, here it's AWS archive tier after 90 days. Remember that if you want to move to archive, the performance or the capacity tier needs to be the same provider. Let's move to another scenario, which is SOBR only with performance tier. This one is called SOBR. And here, as you can see, we have multiple windows storage in the performance tier. You can add multiple performance tier, extend, we call them. It allows you to configure your job to point to one logical SOBR and behind it, you have multiple storage devices. Here we have three windows storage. You select the placement policy and you don't need the capacity tier in this scenario. You just want to leverage the ability to select one SOBR for multiple storage in the performance tier. And to finish, we have the Azure SOBR. It's an other example, pretty much the same as Amazon. In the performance tier, we have local, local storage. In the capacity tier, we have an Azure blob storage. And we could also configure an archive tier. This is it for the how-to video about SOBR. Thank you very much and see you soon.